Four years ago, the Crown Prince of Kalantin, Tanku Mohammed Faiz Petra, married a beautiful woman from Sweden. Despite a 12-year age gap between them, their love sparked immediately. The wedding took place just a few months after his brother, King Mohammed V, married a beautiful Russian model and abdicated the throne a few days later. However, he later abandoned her shortly after she gave birth. On July 17, 2023, which was five days ago, Sophie Louise gave birth to the Crown Prince's first child, a boy who has the potential to become the heir to the Sultanate of Kelantan and possibly even the King of Malaysia. So how did the Crown Prince of Kelantan meet his wife? Will she face a similar fate as the ex-wife of her husband's brother? Watch the full video to find out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified as I upload a new video. Let's go on. Tanku Mohammed Faiz Petro was born on January 20, 1974, to Sultan Ismail Petra and Raja Perimpuan Tanku Anis. He is the current crown prince of the Malaysian state of Kelantan, the heir presumptive, and first in line of succession to the throne of Kelantan. He was proclaimed as the crown prince of Kelantan on 18 October 2010 when his elder brother, Sultan Muhammad V, ascended to the throne as the 29th Sultan of Kelantan. The ceremony appointing Tengku as the crown prince took place at the Nejiri Palace on October 18, 2010. On December 13, 2016, he was appointed as Tanku Treasurer of Kelantan, and from June 2009 to 2019, he served as the President of the Islamic Religious and Malay Customary Council of Kelantan. His older brother, Muhammad V, was the first Sultan to abdicate the throne on January 6, 2019. No Malaysian monarch has stepped away from the throne since the country gained independence from the UK more than 60 years ago. The palace did not give any reason for the 49-year-old royal's move. Rumors circulated that Muhammad V's abdication was related to strong opposition from the Sultanate concerning his marriage to Russian beauty queen Oksana Vovodina. A few months later, the crown prince married a Swedish woman named Sophie Louise Johansson. Tanku Faiz's marriage added him to the list of Kalantan aristocrats who married non-Malays following his older brother's marriage to Czech and Russian women and his younger brother Mohamed Fakhri Petra's marriage to Indonesian supermodel Menohara Odelia Pino in 2008. Sophie was born on 6 June 1986 in Linköping, Sweden. She graduated in English and Sociology Studies. Then she moved to the United Kingdom to work as an au pair. The term au pair comes from French and refers to a foreign maid who lives and works as part of a host family. Au pairs are usually responsible for caring for children, doing housework, and receiving an allowance for personal use. This program is also considered a form of cultural exchange, allowing families and au pairs to experience and learn about new cultures. It is unknown how long Sophie worked abroad, but during her time there, she first met the Crown Prince, who was studying history at the University of London. British media reported that they had actually met several years before. And at that time, the age difference between them was 12 years, with Sophie being 33 years old and Tanku Faiz being 45 years old. On April 19, 2019, the couple got married at the ancient palace of Astana Balai Bisar in a closed ceremony attended by approximately 300 guests, including the royal family of Kelantan and close friends of the crown prince. Sophie wore a wedding dress with a high neckline, long sleeves, and gold thread embroidery. She also had a sparkling tiara and a long veil. The crown prince has become the latest Malaysian royal to marry a non-Malay citizen. Sophie was granted the title Chepuan which holds the equivalent meaning of crown princess. On August 2, 2022, she was appointed as Chaitpuan of Kelantan by Sultan Muhammad V's sister-in-law, who is currently holding the sultan's position. The current sultana Nur Diana Petra, formerly known as Yana Yakovkova, hails from Czech descent and was inaugurated as sultana on the same date. It is essential to note that the title sultana 
is designated for the Sultan's consort without royal blood or from commoners, while the title Raja of Kalantan is reserved for a consort of the Sultan with noble lineage. Sophie and Tanku Fais are a beautiful couple, and they are often photographed together, sharing their moments on social media. On their wedding anniversary, Sophie wrote on her Instagram account, One beautiful year has now passed us by since we got married. Feeling very lucky and proud to be by your side as your wife. Thanking Allah every day for having such a loving and respectful husband. From their Instagram posts, it's evident that Sophie and Tanku Fais are deeply in love and cherish their time together. Sophie once shared a picture of them both with the caption, Together is a wonderful place to be. They frequently travel to Sweden to visit her family and enjoy skiing in the snow. They are inseparable, engaging in activities together such as traveling, cooking, and attending events, which makes them a perfect couple. Sophie never forgets to celebrate her husband's birthday, and in one post she wrote, Happy birthday to my lovely husband. May all your dreams come true. The crown princess actively involves herself in social work, particularly in areas concerning children and youth. Additionally, the couple decided to selflessly donate their wedding gifts to various welfare organizations in Kelantan, including those for the disabled, orphanages, nursing homes, and the Red Crescent Society Malaysia. On March 19, Sophie revealed that she is pregnant and the couple will be welcoming their first child in the summer. She wrote on her Instagram, My husband and I are happy to announce that we are expecting our first child. The birth is expected to take place in July 2023. Five days ago, on July 17, the couple joyfully welcomed their first child, a son, as reported by the local newspaper Sinar Harian. However, the first name of the baby has not been revealed yet. The 36-year-old princess had a successful delivery, and both mother and child are in good health. A statement posted on the princess Instagram account by her staff expressed gratitude to God and everyone at the university hospital who played a crucial role in childbirth. With the birth of their child, Sophie Louise and Crown Prince Tanku Muhammad Faiz have entered a new chapter in their lives, and we hope it will be a successful and happy one, unlike what happened to Oksana Vobadina. Do you believe that she will face the same fate? And that's it. If you enjoyed the video and want more like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up below in appreciation. And if you haven't already, you really want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel and tick the bell icon so you get notified as I upload a new video every week. See you in the next video.